So what were you doing in San Diego? San Diego State. So you went, okay, so you were an Aztec as well. And then I transferred to USC. Ah, you're mm-hmm. just all over California. You're the queen of California. Thank you. Do you ever make it over to Tijuana for good Mexican food when you live there? Honestly, I, was, I would be scared because I would hear the stories and you know. That's, the food over there is crazy. I know it's crazy, but I'm like. You know, that ain't my hood, <laughs> so I'm trying to go down there. <laughs> I like my life. You know, I always like equate it like if you hear about stuff, like you hear about the worst about a place on the news. Mm-hmm. It'd be like someone who's from like Massachusetts visiting LA and thinking they're going to get robbed or like banged on. Like it might happen. Man, that's Tijuana. Nah, I think I, <laughs> hey, TJ's lit. They got great... Like, okay, you, if I go down there with like you and some other people that know the area, then yeah. But I'm just not going to yeah, go Yeah, I got some there. dental work done there. And, um, really? The dentist was fire. And okay. uh, oysters, I get like a dozen oysters for like $8. Hell yeah, I love fresh oysters. Fresh out the ocean. You like, are, like seafood, your main, your main shit? What's your like favorite food? Ooh, I love me some seafood. A seafood boil. Mm. Some spicy sauce, lemon, butter. Mm. Do you cook? Yeah, I cook. What's like your if I if, if someone were to put you on like a competition show? A seafood pasta. That's your main go to. Seafood pasta. I don't eat meat no more, but I can make a good steak. Why not? What? Why no meat? Um, in February, I was working a lot mm-hmm. and my body felt like it just kept breaking down. Mm-hmm. So I was like, how do I just remove something from my diet? Right. Um, to improve my health. Right. And I thought that, honestly, I didn't think that I was going to be able to do it. But after it became a habit, I kind of just forgot about meat. And then, like, a month ago, I tried eating um, a huevos ranchero burrito Mm. with some um, beef in it. Mm -hmm. And it tastes hella good. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you my body rejected it in 10 seconds, I had to, like, ran to the bathroom. You had to blow it up. I I didn't blow it up. It kind of... Just came back out the other way. <laughs> Got you. So you puked. Huh? You puked. I puked. I puked last night. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not. And this morning. Oh, and this morning. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What color was it? Uh, this morning it was just clear. It was like I was just puking up tequila. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It was like, it was like someone just turned out a water hose. It was fucked up. You uh, know what makes a really safe puke? Gatorade. Mm. Uh-huh. So if you know you're going to puke, will you drink the Gatorade? I'll drink hella Gatorade. Because you're like, I might as well just get the Gatorade out. It keeps the burn away for some reason. Nice. Mm-hmm. You've had some, some, <laughs> no. you got some experience, when huh? When you got to work in the morning, <laughs> you got to get that shit out of the system. <laughs> How do you cook your steak? You say you make a good steak. Uh-huh. What, you do the cast iron pan, like we put it in the oven. How are you making your steak? So I like some, I like for it to like marinate. Okay. You know, with the beer, the seasoning, whatever, in the refrigerator for a little bit. And then I like to bake it. Mm -hmm. And then once it's done, I like to grill it to like crisp the sides. Yeah, you got to sear it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, yeah, you're a real one. I learned from my dad. Shout out to your pops. Mm 